the release of Miriam Taron, a 17-year-old teenager from Arunachal Pradesh uh, who had, in fact, uh, lost his way and entered Chinese territory. And he, in an exclusive conversation with Times Now, has explained his ordeal under the hands of the People's Liberation Army in China, where he claims he was tortured and that he was also given electric shocks. So uh, let's listen into that conversation that we had, that he had with our correspondent. Hmm. We gave the गिरने का बाद हम वो पकड़ा हम्म पकड़ने के बाद वो लोग हाथ सिर बांध के हम्म थोड़ा सा आगे में उतार के ले गया हम्म उसका रोसी को कूल के हम्म वो जो किया वो होता है हाथ करी हम्म हाथ करी लगा के हम वो डायरेक्ट वो मार्क मार्क लगाया मत सेंटे आपको आपको बनने का नहीं किया तो मार्क्स लगा के उसको ना पेडल पेडल मर के ऐसे तम लोग तीन मिनट ऐसे कुछ गया आगे में आगे में जाने का उसमें कुछ वो था एक कैम था सायद हम को उधर लेके बंद के रखा बंदने का बात एक दो लात मरा साथ में एक मूवी इंग्लिश मूवी में होते हैं ना एक ऐसे मतलब इलेक्ट्री वो मतलब जो है नॉर्मली एक तो एक इलेक्ट्री शॉट देने लायक होता है ना टेजर 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 गन हाँ एक तो टोर्स का साथ भी होता है उसमें ना हाँ 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 ऐसा ऐसा वाला से डोवर लगा है हम्म उसके बाद क्या क्या बात कर रहा था हमको तो समझ नहीं आ रहा था जैनी गोसा कर रहा था हम्म हम्म होते होते हम हम बहुत ठंडा लग रहा था दर दर कमारे दर भी लग रहा था परिवार का भी याद आ रहा था हम क्या करें या क्या करें कुछ भी समझ में नहीं आ रहा था तो हम ठंडा से काब रहा था तो लोग शायद सुबह हो रहा था होगा हम वो क्या क्या लग गया होगा वापस वो क्या कपड़ा डाला मेरो मेरो ऊपर खतरा दल नहीं करवा, हम तो खड़ा करके लगभग तीन देश ऐसे कुछ, तीन देश ऐसे कुछ हम नहीं सोके मतलब जाग जाग के रहते हैं। Let me go across to Nibir Deka, who spoke to Miriam Taron uh, soon after he was released from Chinese captivity. Nibir, these are extremely shocking details that have been revealed to you by uh, Miriam Taron. So he has not spoken to any other media house. He was the first to speak to us. His father has been making statements. So yesterday I had night I had a conversation with him, had an exclusive conversation with him where he said that he was out there for a hunting expedition because they have this festival in March where they, they are they belong to the Adi tribe. So they have this festival where they hunt rodents and other insects. And he was out there in near the border areas. And he was there in the upper Sungla area of the upper Siang district when, you know, he was, he and his friend Johnny were surrounded by, you know, groups of men. Johnny escaped from the area, but uh, Miram was, you know, surrounded by these men from the PLA and who, you know, blindfolded him at first. And, you know, he had to walk for 15 minutes to a nearby camp. And when he was taken to the camp, he claims, Miram claims that he was, you know, beaten, he was kicked and he was also, you know, given electric shock. When I asked what kind of electric shock he was given, he claimed that sort of a, you know, torch and he was, the torch was put in his bag. When I asked him, is it like a taser gun? Then he, what the description he gave was sort of a taser gun that has been used in his body. And for the seven days, seven, eight days where he was kept in the camp, he was entirely blindfolded. So whenever he had to eat, that blindfold was removed from his face and he could only eat there. But his entire, you know, eyes and entire head was, you know, blindfolded. Uh, however, in the later stage of his captivity, when the discussions with the Indian government continued, we have to understand that Kiran Rizitsu, the Indian government and the local administration did a very proactive role. So when the, uh, the conversations continued, he, the Chinese were offering him better food in the later stages of his captivity, though. But initially, it was very difficult for him and he narrated the entire incident and the guy is still in a bit of trauma. But he says that once he has returned to Indian land, when he saw his father, when he saw his friends 
as well as the Indian Army. He is now in a better condition. But still, I am in touch with him and I will inform you any more updates on his matter.